Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Master Fisher Boy. Today we went to Walmart, picked up a couple baits, and here what we got. First to start it off, we got a Hudden Spook, Super Junior Spook. It like looks like a sexy shell color. It doesn't really say on here what color it is. And I got two of those, but this one's like in a bass color pattern. Super Super Spook Juniors. And we got some Corporate Cross 4 inch, pretty bulky big ones. And to go with that, I got some jig heads, round heads by Gamagatsu Hooked. It's Gamagatsu Hooks, but it's made by Lucky Strike. And we got some saltwater baits too. The Jerk Shad Mullet 5 inch power bait saltwater fluke type thing. I'm, I'm actually, it looks like a, it's, it's like a spook, but, but it's way tougher. Like the plastic is way, way tougher. So that's why I like fishing it more stiffer action. And I mean, you would like flexible, but when it's summertime, that stiff action and then darting side to side, that kills them. Okay, what we got next, we got these big, 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 big hooks. A uh, 5 odd offset worm hook wide gap and cutting point owner, owner hooks. These are really nice. We got uh, the Trouble Hook Assortment. We got different sizes and stuff. I got this because I'm doing a little project that has to do with like, it's like a hard plastic bait. So that's why I got this for. And to go with those big hooks I just showed you, we got the 12 inch Jelly Worm. I got this in all black. I've never tried this, so I'm just starting off with a good color, the all black. It's a jelly worm, and it caught Paul Ellers set bass all-time heavyweight record with 132 pounds of this bait. That's a lot. Oh, dang. 132 pounds? That's a good amount of weight. Well, that's just the overview. I'm gonna throw these these claws on that those big heads. It's a pretty big claw crawl style bait. It's kind of like a brush hook though. And what I'm gonna do with it is just get the jig head, put the jig head on how you would. And there you go. It will just stay on the bottom like this. So that's good. I really, when I fish cross style baits, I like using jig heads just because my pond has no structure, so I don't really get hung up on stuff. So I like using jig heads. Well, that's the overall view of what I just got at Walmart. Quick stop. We got the Hudden Spooks. And we got the Power Bay. I'm Texas Rick, this um, weightless. And yeah. Boom. Probably gonna be the game changers. Thank you for watching another episode of Master Fishable.